Whatever you do, do not click off this video until you've seen this amazing reverb trick. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Mythical. I have a super cool reverb trick that will add glue, flavor, character, and some body to your reverb bus. But first, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button to stay updated on cool Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks. When you do subscribe, say, hey, Mythical, I subbed and I will respond to you in the comments. Okay, let's get going. In front of me, I have a track I wrote a couple of weeks ago. It's Down Tempo Electronica, and there's a lot of pianos and synth, a uh, cool vocal line, and a sexy drum beat that I want to add that effect to, to the reverb. So I have my drum channel highlighted and already I have a bus going to a designated channel which I'm going to use as reverb. Nothing is activated except my high and low pass filter which is very important. I have 600 hertz and 7000 hertz high and low pass filter. I don't want to create excess mud. So that's the first in the chain. The second thing in the chain is my reverb and I'm going to use chromaverb. You can use any reverb that you like. And for this video, I'm just going to use a drum chamber preset. Okay. I'm going to drop the wet to zero and I'm going to increase my decay to like three seconds. I want a nice, not too over the top decay time with my reverb. I don't want to wash away all of the detail on the drums, but I want something that has a little bit of atmosphere. Okay. So before we get going on that, let's take a listen to the track and then I will solo out the drums th so that we can get some context. Okay, pretty dry. So I'm going to activate my reverb slowly increase the wet signal not a lot okay that sounds cool all right so I'm gonna keep my levels in mind and the next thing under the reverb I'm going to add overdrive. I'm going to increase my drive to like eight and a half. Turn that all the way to 20,000 hertz. And then I'm going to try to level match where it was before I added the overdrive. That sounds about right. Okay. So now what this is doing is just adding a little bit of grit. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my EQ, Vintage EQ, and Console EQ. And the drive on the output, I'm going to crank that baby to 11. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to level match. down the volume okay sounds good now I'm gonna add tape delay and the not the last video I did the, the video before I did a video on tape saturation using the tape delay plugin in logic and it is really really effective when done correctly and what this is going to do it's going to add a little bit of glue maybe some harmonic distortion and it's going to give us a little bit more character under uh under the reverb so i will go to my delay tape delay and where we have the delay on the left here we're going to drop that all the way down and turn off tempo sync it's very important to turn off tempo sync and delay time is 0.0, .0 milliseconds 
and the feedback is 0% as well. And I'm gonna bring up the dry to 100% and the wet to 0% and the clip threshold is this is where all of the distortion happens is right in here the clip threshold we're going to slowly bring up that wet that wet uh, uh, bar and we'll start introducing some of the the tape saturation okay let's play it there's no tape yet slowly increasing Now listen carefully. On. Off. Okay, now in context. Only reverb, plugins off, plugins on. Off, on. You know, you can do your best to level match, and this really is a subtle trick. But in my opinion, it adds a little bit of extra flavor. And for this song, it's got a very dark, melancholy kind of vibe. And I kind of felt like the extra grit added to the overall uh, kind of haunting atmosphere that I was kind of going for in this song. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you like it, like it. If you don't, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, I will see you next time.